What's going on everybody, Holiday Doc back, and thank you again for checking out my videos, lots of support lately, and uh, you know, I'm going to keep doing what I do best, and that's commentary. So, let's get into the gameplay of today, High Rise Demolition. Personally, I feel this is one of those maps where it's a lot easier to plant the bomb than it is to defend the bombs on this map. Um, the spawn traps are ridiculous. And if you get caught out of position or get caught out of spawn rotation and you get all four down, you're pretty much fucked. I, I, I hate that about this game, that, you know, spawns and three down means, like, the absolute world. If you get three down and the other team can push up far enough into position, your team's fucked. And it's, it's really hard to get out of those uh, spawn traps. And High Rise has to be one of the worst spawn traps on any of the maps out there. But let's talk about the roster lineup tonight. You know, we've got Young Defiance, who is a big World at War player with myself, um, rival teams for a long time. We've also got OG Omega, which has been bugging me for a long time, trying to get in on some, some MLG scrims. He is a TDM only player. And, uh,. You know, playing with only two people that know your strats fairly well is very difficult. And um, just the simplistic things that you, you don't normally wouldn't call out, you kind of catch yourself back and off guard and kind of realize, you know, hey, you know, I should be calling these things out a little bit more or operating them to, to go to different positions rather than where they're at now. And, uh, yeah, one guy did leave the game, but we did double plant, so he thought it was over and he kind of rage quitted, but, uh, he does come back right away here. And, uh, you know, I am playing a different role than I usually do, and I'm playing more of just, uh, just a slay style, where we got, uh, some other people kind of run out of objective. And, uh, basically, we were playing on Bless hosts, and I hit over a 300 ping on his host, so... I really can't run objective with that kind of uh, issue, so you know it bounces between 300 and almost 400. So I figure, you know, if we're playing on his host, I'm gonna uh, just do some slaying and hopefully get some good footage out of it. But this is one of those games where it's like, yeah, starts off good, these guys aren't so bad, maybe things will work out, and then it's just it just goes downhill from there. As soon as we start defensive side. Um, it's just bad news bears for everybody, but there is Mr. Longnade. He came back into the game here, and uh, I was looking for the guys jumping out the middle window. Um, I heard the glass being broke, and it was centered, but I just couldn't catch the kill. And I don't see, like, one of these things right here is uh, I call out for B, top chopper, get top chopper, at least two guys up there, one on stairs, one on top, and we get three guys going to A. Like, what the fuck are you doing over at A? He should not be over at A. We only need one guy on that right side right off the start. We just need to watch where the spawns are going, where they're flanking to, and just kind of get a hold down on the map. Map controls everything on this game. And, you know, I do get top chopper, but uh, these guys have some really good counter spots going on. And it's uh, that's one of those things about top chopper is you're really easy to get shot off of there if you're not playing the position as best as you could. And I really don't play Slayer ever. Um, I know. maybe play it once or twice a month. <clears throat> and uh, that's the extent of my Slayerism goes. But I do know the general, I don't know, rules. <laughs> you know, post up more than you move around, definitely. And you want to kind of really? you know, you like watch where times, people are going. Like here I see my guy gets shot down from in front of Chopper, so... I throw the nade, anticipating that he's going to be running up towards Chopper. Um, you know, he makes a kill. He's going to move up to gain map control, right? Everybody, that's how they kind of roll. Um, I should have picked up that kill a lot sooner and kind of watched my middle. But, uh, you know, once they get the A plant, I was really getting frustrated because, like, mm, like you see my team is just kind of hanging out in the spawn here and not kind of moving up. Like, we all have three guys over at B, but... You know, we're not watching right side, we're not watching underneath, and these guys continuously are running underneath, um, and flanking us, getting into our spawn, when, you know, I call out, I'm taking left side, and I'm gonna try and get on top chopper, you know, the other guys should be taking right side and center, like, it's just common sense, 
but you know sometimes it just it just doesn't play out as easily as you would like it to you know not everything is picture perfect people do make mistakes and you know the learning curve is fairly steep especially if you only play TDM and you're coming into an MLG type of gameplay it's just it's really rough and you know um, you, you sometimes it just blows you away at how different the play styles are and I think uh, Omega kind of realizes that Young Defiance um, mostly known as Young Def uh, he does a really good job of you know picking up the gameplay right off the start here he's he's been playing match in the last week or so and then S and D only the previous week I believe and you know MLG variant is so much different than those game types and I really just I love the competitive nature of it but I hate the spawn traps and I hate some of the maps that just offer the one sidedness of everything you know and that's one of my issues with Black Ops you know how well balanced can they make that game you know, obviously they know that the competitive scene is gaining momentum and gaining structure, so they have to be aware of the fact that you know competitive gamers want something more than just public room matchup stuff, and they really need to come out and and feel that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> that was terrible. Uh, Omega just kind of looked at him, <laughs> went for the defuse anyways, but. Um, Slippery slope downhill this map was, and it's kind of embarrassing, but like I said, we're only playing with two of our regular guys. This is Young Defiance's first scrum with us. This is OG Omega's second scrum with us, and right now he's at 8 and 14. Yeah, it's a pretty rough spread, uh, especially if we're on defense. Like, <laughs> you should not be going negative on defense. It's just a, a no-no. And this pre-fire here is dirty. It really is. I usually never get caught by it, and I was more looking for the people jumping out the window rather than the pre-fires, and I got caught on it, so, you know, lesson learned, lesson learned. So they stunned B real hard, so I assume they were coming for B or at the start, and you notice the second time here, we have three guys go to B or at the start, um, that's, that's the setup you need to run, and, you know, having one guy watching elevator side is all you need if you have somebody set up middle so they can kind of watch underneath so you don't get caught running up behind on um, really absolutely beautiful nade there that was <laughs> that was a really nice nade just barely made it over there um, he throws some a couple dirty nades throughout the night but good job on their end there a they've already got a plant in the first minute <laughs> aggravating really aggravating and even though it is a scrim and we're just trying to get stuff down I still get frustrated and I think everybody can kinda of say the same thing you don't ever go into a game wanting to lose and you know people who say oh try hard this try hard that in, in scrims yeah you're full of shit the only time anybody calls anybody a try hard is after they get their shit pushed in a fucking scrim and they start complaining and finding excuses um, I never really try. Like I, I'm not using the excuses. We had new people, but it's it's a valid valid reason as for why we're not doing as nearly as good as we usually would. Uh, like I said before, lots of people like to run underneath red, and people use it as like a lane way just to get into our spawn. And if you don't watch it, and you're not paying attention to people going under there, it can just ruin your day. Uh, I do pick up the one kill that's in our almost our side orange there, red spawn. But the second guy that spawned elevator, and they continuously spawn elevator. I'm not sure what was going on, but you know I've never really played a game where they're continuously spawning elevator like this. It was really frustrating to see and to happen constantly over and over again. So you know I take a position right in the middle, kind of watching for underneath, watching for right side window, and this is another one of those fucking things. Like I barely even have time to see him come out and. He's already got me lined up. Like, that's fucked. That's fucked. And you know the rule of thumb: if it looks too good to be true, seems too good to be true, chances are it is too good to be true. So keep that in mind. <laughs> and uh, you know, one other thing I wanted to bring up is. Um, with Black Ops coming out, a lot of teams are focusing more on, you know, finding their set roster. 
rather than playing on the ladder. A lot of people have been asking me, you know, why aren't you playing a lot of matches on the ladder? And it's there's a couple of reasons. Um, we had a major roster change, and I wasn't really comfortable with just starting off on variant with without everybody knowing the exact uh, strat structure that we use. And you know, we've gone through like five roster changes now since since the initial one, and. You know, it's, it's hard to find a, a decent set of guys that don't want to leave uh, because you're not doing 15 matches a day. <laughs> like, you know, I play pretty much every day, but I don't play for an extended period of time. Um, I, sometimes I only get on for a half hour, sometimes I get on for an hour, and you know, I try to scrim as much as possible, and that's what we've been doing lately, and it, I find scrimming more productive than to just jumping into matches. A lot of people just want to jump into matches yeah. and without any of the practice and, and stuff like calling? that that goes into the, the team play. Yeah, yeah, but, you know, I just I don't, don't agree with that whatsoever, so I'm not just going to appease people that come onto the team that just simply want to do matches because their GB rank's more important. So, uh, if you're a GB rank D rider, don't ever ask to get on my team because I really don't wow, care where did that about hit me from? GB rank. I don't care about no, remaking it. or anything I, like that. That was a that was a rough kill. Long, 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 took a lot of bullets. And it seems like I have the two two or three burst people, even with the Famas. It's kind of irritating. But that's the price I pay for living in an igloo up in Canada with my Eskimo who pedals the bike that charges the internet. Yeah. But, <laughs> um, you know, there's really not a whole lot I can say about this game. It just did not go very well. We continuously got spawn trapped. We continuously got run up on through middle where they're coming up through our spawn. Nobody was watching right side. Nobody was doing the proper callouts. <laughs> Somebody was calling. He's in the middle. and uh, Or he, he's, on, he's on the top. <laughs> like, what the fuck kind of callout is top? Like, what are you going to do with top? Top of what? Like, like the, look at that nade, like, how, how, <laughs> like, it's so irritating sometimes, you like, man, I get frustrated even in scrims, and, you know, even the best of us can admit that, but, you know, nobody will ever post videos that they lose in, and I have no problem with it because it's a learning experience, and these guys can go back and check out the video later and see exactly what, what went on uh, and it's good because you know um, people get this assumption that I never lose and blah 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 and I've never said I've never lost we lose a lot and uh, I post videos and you know it's, it's all about coming back and taking what you did wrong and moving it to what you can do right next time like literally when I say nobody else will post a loss I really mean it but Holiday Doc out of here, 29, 22, not too bad. Thanks for checking out the video.